Uh, no, you never been there. Man, I walked to that bitch's boy. I said, Oh, yeah, man, I told Scoot, I said, Scoot, I ain't never turned nobody to tell nobody. Nah, he he don't, he don't. I ain't never heard him say that. You ain't never hear me say no. that, how Scoot. Man, was crazy. Tell what I walked in that bitch's head. Oh, beef was just, I don't be knowing y'all. And y'all about the gang shit. I've been putting my life there. Well, look. I'll be one you up in the end Boy TV gang, man, stand up, man. I need y'all to like this video. Make sure y'all go follow me on all my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check the description for it. You already know how we stepping out here, man. We ain't ducking nothing. We got the topics on the flow. TV gang and notification squad, man. What's going on? We back again with another banger, and we got another topic on the flow, and we got to talk about Fredo Bang, who was recently removed from a concert or a show, man, from his big cousin and it don't look like little boosie really like him i think he might have a grudge or something man y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think is the problem because it's starting to look pretty bad on his side because when you stopping somebody money like fredo bang said real spill now he said real niggas don't stop other niggas money no matter how much they don't like them and that's just real facts but when you're dealing with big names in a game like a little boosie or a webby who been in the game for years on years it's like fredo bang he trying to get to that point in his career where he can work with some of the people from his town some of the same people and it don't look like boosie is showing them the same love that he give other rappers to and when i say other rappers we talk about nba young boy and you know the whole nba and bbg camp you know he showed them love he do songs with them he over there chilling with them you know he in their videos and things like that but when it come to his own cousin fredo bang it don't look like he getting the same love and he started to really let it out like he keeps saying like y'all can see what he said and he basically responded to the whole thing he had got on live boosie recently got on live right after you know fredo bang has said it so it kind of make it look like allegedly that they got some type of problems going on but it's like at the end of the day when you're looking at a fan perspective you still want them to make music you know and make some great music because you know they can but it's like why would he take him off the show and then you still got another show where it's like webby's on there so clearly that's just webby manager or somebody just showing that he not the one who's taking people off the show you know he got this show in spring with webby and fredo and if webby don't cancel the show and make boosie look real bad like you hating on this man like you trying to stop his bag and you know stop him from progressing in his career but that's all up for y'all to decide y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about it i told y'all how i feel about the whole situation it's not looking too good because fredo bang at the end of the day he's a rapper he make his money off of this so when you stop in this man bag it don't look too good and you know it looked like he even wrote to boosie like dang blood what you taking food out my mouth you can't even do a show with me on it and it make it kind of look like boosie may be scary he might just be neglecting his little cousin or he just might be siding with nba more than he's siding with fredo bang and tbg you know it could be some past things that could have never been solved but y'all know more than me so y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation and i'll be back at y'all with another video but don't forget to make sure y'all like this video comment down below and if you're new to the channel hit that big red button to subscribe then hit that bell right next to it for post notifications man and you already know who it is and if you're rocking with me you already know my slogan if you're rocking with me subscribe if not kick rocks i'm out